Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon, a magnetic service. My partner steps aside in this moment, and the issue is not with him, it's with you. It's the same man, it's the same voice. But dear ones, those who are in the audience who sense things, those who are listening who sense things, will know something has happened. It doesn't take but a fraction of a moment for my partner to give allowance to a greater intuition because he has learned how. He learned that it worked. He learned there's no fear. He's learned that he doesn't have to question it and he doesn't have to literally stand by and check it out. And I'm saying this thing not for, for him but for you. Dear ones, inside you is what is inside him. What you have is this, this beautiful, elegant presence of the creative source, which is in every single cell, every piece of DNA, given to you on purpose so long ago, so that you could use it when it was time. Human history is, is filled with those who will give allowance and step aside. And it's so obvious that some have done it in such a perfect fashion that everything changed. The masters of old that you might read about in scripture who lived six to nine hundred years, all they were doing were stepping aside and letting the cells do what they were designed to do perfectly replicate and live and live and live. It's what humans are now beginning to understand about disease. That it's all in the brain. That is the consciousness driven biology that you have. Proven with scientists now who are looking at this and saying you can extend your life if you relax. Even those who are not spirits will say if you laugh more you'll live longer. All of this connect the dots is related to getting out of the way. Getting out of the way. Human bias is so strong that even the highest of those who are teaching this have a bias. It is absolutely ingrained in all of you because you are an old soul. What if I told you you've literally gone to school to learn the way things work for tens of thousands of years. Now if that's the case, today you're sitting there with that knowledge cognized and ingrained in you. And now we're saying, forget it. Step aside. And that is the hardest thing for any human being to do. I've told you I know who's here. I know which one of you has recently had heart trouble. In two ways. Physically and emotionally. I know of the others here and who are listening. Who need to hear that all is well. And that inside you truly is the most amazing healing power. Facilitators all through history in this room and listening to this have so many ways to get to that point where you'll release. And whether it is to sing to you or give you the science you needed to hear or whether it's to put their hands in certain places so you'll feel the energy that is available to you None of them can make you heal. What they do is give you balance. And the balance allows you to then have the aha experience, which is get out of the way. And get out of the way carries such an important message all through your cells. What have you been taught is the way to live, to act, to eat, all of things are unique to you. 
Dear ones, human beings tend to think not only in a linear way, but also in a generic way. You're used to taking one pill for everyone. One pill will get rid of the pain in all human beings because you're all built alike. Then you come to that which is more esoteric and personal and beautiful and elegant. And we're saying the one pill syndrome will never work for you. What are you supposed to eat? How are you supposed to eat? Dear ones, that is completely determined by your Akash and your cellular system. Now there are tests will even go into what it is you need that the other person does not. They're not even esoteric tests. You know that your Akash will tell you. You really don't need the tests. You can take them. Your Akash will tell you. Based upon where you came from and what your cellular structure may want, may not even be really available in the United States unless you grow it that is how specific it can be so each one of you is unique and so you will go to a facilitator who will then tell you of your uniqueness will test you for certain things that are different from anybody else they are unique that is why you would go to somebody who would know these things and would work with you so you could discover for yourself your uniqueness and get out of the way. Crying, what's the best way to meditate? Some have told me I should spend a certain number of minutes, hours every day and that has a connection to God. Don't ask my partner how long he meditates. He'll tell you he does it when he drives. That may be dangerous. <laughs> but it isn't. Because he has a living meditation with his higher self always on. The thoughts that occur to him that are the highest ones in his mind are the creator. Of what is next for him that will propel the energy of healing and knowledge, the best way. His idle thoughts are with his higher self. That is a meditation. And dear ones, that is your meditation if you want it. And so again we say what my partner said to open this very channeling. Don't compartmentalize your relationship to God. Don't make it at a certain time when you're going to talk and a certain time when you're not or a certain time when you're going to pay attention and get quiet. Those all are things that may work for you. You can continue them. But understand that really, if you're going to change a life of pain, suffering, disease, lifespan, it has got to be something that is all the time on your mind. And when that occurs, you're going to find something that my partner mentioned. The complaining spirit goes away. It goes away. Your joy factor starts to invade every cell. Now you know my partner tells way too many jokes. It is part of a countenance of compassion. You don't become perfect. You just become compassionate. And you do your best to see God in everything and in everyone. And this change is not only the outlook of you and your life, but your very cells absorb it. And the channeling later today, we're going to talk a little more about that absorption. About some of the new energy and the ways things work that you may not expect. But this is the message of crying and always has been. That the earth is shifting and you're shifting with it. And you don't have to survive this. You can be this. The earth is not separate from you. Consciousness of the change is not separate from you. Get on the train. Don't stand in front of it. Because <laughs> it's going to leave without you. Then you're going to have a hard time catching it. And what this metaphor really means is that an old soul like you is feeling this already. 
Examine this. What does this mean for you? Getting out of the way is exactly what will cause and create something called planned synchronicity. An oxymoron. A way of life that is beyond luck. Something else my partner teaches. All of this comes from something which is called the creative source. That is something you know all about, dear ones, because that's where you come from. Inside you is something we're asking you to awaken that human beings really have not understood. And in this shift, it is something that is yours beyond that which it ever was before. It's going to be easier to find it. It's going to be more difficult as you go forward with others around you because there's no more fence sitting. We told you that. It's going to be difficult to stay uncommitted more and more. We'll talk more of that. But for now, I am cryon in love with humanity. And so it is.